Now we're talking with Van Lai. She's a designer at Chevrolet, and she's in charge of uh, one area which is very, very interesting to me, which is colors. Color and materials. Colors and materials, <laughs> exterior and interior. Mm -hmm. So we're um, standing here by the new Spark, and which is like a really vibrant color. Like, uh, what's the official name? I don't want to... I think it's Kalamata. It's a, it's a oh, violet. Like olive, olive Kalamata, it's a violet yeah. color. Kalamata. It's really, you know, bold. Beautiful. And we were talking before we went on the air, talking about why most of the cars out there around the world actually are black white or silver right and that's like the, the most the majority of the cars around the world yeah I think. a lot of the cars you see on the road whether it's um, a chevrolet you know a gmc or, or any other brands any other really brand, yeah. um white silver grays and blacks are dominant they're core colors they're um you know they're really lasting colors they're neutrals um, and they retain their value quite well too. But again, it's a core, and even though it's it's a color that you know you might see on a gray scale, those are colors we constantly refresh to use new technologies. Yeah. Yeah. For so like the black could be made, and like yeah, the grays yeah. can be well, like no we, shiny. You know the that. the blacks. Um, we have blacks that are metallics. We have some that are like heavily uh, metallics. For the white example, um, we have solid whites. We also have tri coat whites. Yeah. We recently showed the Malibu in. in abalone white which is this really um, moving white it's got great depth and it's got a lot of um, it lends itself greatly to you know the form language on a vehicle it shows it off really well so can you explain briefly how, how the process it is to to pick a color for a car <laughs> I mean, I, we only have a few minutes here that is so but, hard i know but like well, well like obviously consumer um, feedback and all that and production limitations i would like assume maybe uh, well, and then, like, the line of the car, right? Mm -hmm. Well, the constraints of, you know, um, complexity or the, the factory line or the plant line aside, that stuff aside, um, when we start looking at a vehicle, whether it's for the interior or exterior, we really look at what the car's purpose is. You know, what is the spark? Who's driving it? Where does it fit in the family of Chevrolets? What's its purpose? Yeah. And the, and the spark is a fun, young at heart dynamic spirited car and it's bold and it's expressive so to us some of the colors you might see like the purple here today or the splash blue we showed um well, there's or the a green lime. very there's, cool there's, yeah, yeah, yeah there's a fresh that, yeah. lime as well there's a fresh lime green so those colors really echo the sentiment um and and the personality of the car yeah when you're looking at a car like the malibu on, in contrast, it's much more upscale, it's sophisticated, it's a bit more serious. Yeah. So you're not going to see these really you know, loud and expressive colors on the Malibu because it doesn't fit the yeah. Malibu. Nobody was going to want to It's, it's, not, uh, it's well, not for that person. Exactly. You yeah. know, that, that person is much more, you know, um, upscale. They're a little more serious. They're about family. Um, they're, they're not as bold and expressive in their outward notion um, as the Spark customer might be. So we. Absolutely. Number one, you know, what is this car? Who is it for? Why does it exist? When we were talking about here at the design um, workshop about the new Bolt, I mean, uh, the consumer feedback was that they wanted to look just like a regular car, like good design and all that. And they didn't want to, like, just like, to be known like a quote-unquote electric car. Okay. And actually, at the very beginning of uh, production, when it came out, one of my, my only criticism maybe was, like, the colors weren't like that didn't reflect the technology like the energy or something like they were like kind of normal colors but now we're seeing it like in a beautiful blue I don't, again I don't want to mess up the official name of that blue <laughs> but that vault is looks really really nice I think that blue's name is kinetic blue and I okay, say I kinetic, think yeah. because we have different names for marketing than we do oh, okay. internally so when you know we launch on a vehicle we make sure that it ties into the whole message of the vehicle but the blue shows off the, the form language awesome, you know, yeah. on, on the Volt. And it it's, ties back into that technology story. It ties back into a lot of the electrification um, and, and that whole concept that surrounds the EV. You know, um, that aside, it, it's one of those things that we keep being challenged with and it keeps evolving as a designer. You know, again, we're working three, four years out easily yeah. to be able to trend forecast what's going to be in the market. 
uh, Very what, difficult. you know, what everyone else is doing in the market, yeah. what other disciplines are doing. So, you know, a, a customer is not just driving a car and they see nothing else. They travel, they buy home products. They see everything they, on social media nowadays. They see everything, you know, what, whether it's technology on their phones, the phone itself being a technology, products they buy for their house. Everything is inter, you know, and, and it's related. So it's having an idea that something is fresh, not just for automotive, but also fresh in the landscape of products they have, yeah. you know, is, is a, that's a big challenge for us. So I'm just curious about like your personal decision to like I don't know if it was personal decision to get in charge of the color palette Sorry? of the cars. It was your personal decision to get into this job, or how did you get into like being in charge of like color selection for oh. cars? <laughs> well, um, I actually lead a team of Chevrolet designers, and I work again on electric cars, um, passenger cars, and crossovers. And so to, together we we develop all the color materials for Chevrolet lineup. Um, I have a background in fashion and applied textiles, so um, again, a lot of the designers in our studios are not are not automotive based. A lot of them are industrial design or product design. Yeah. We have interior designers, so it's a lot of intermingling of disciplines, and it's a lot of different perspectives. And that's what you need nowadays because, we, like, all do. technologies you are do. like intermingling in, in everything, right? Yeah, and, and it's good to cross pollinate and share those ideas. Otherwise, it's always going to be the same perspective. So we talk about exterior colors. In the interior, I mean, not much has changed, it seems, right? I mean, it's like well, pretty it, much gray or, or like black. But. Well, the, the grays, the blacks, the browns, that for us, you know, is really, uh, again, like we talked about core colors. Yeah. The core color um, and, and the interior is really, you know, practical. It's pragmatic. It's easy to love. It's not... Um, easy to maintain, too. And easy to maintain. But you know, that that's a huge point, and that's a great point you make, because our customers are not about fussy things. Yeah. They, they want it easy to clean, easy to love, easy to live with. You know, they, they don't want a high-maintenance car, and this car speaks to just that. Um, you know, the graphics are strong. We have materials that highlight uh, the graphics in the vehicle, whether it's the silver around the center sack or the piano black that goes from the IP into the door. Um, in this interior, you're seeing um, the seat with a hexagon perf, but in other interiors, in different trim levels or colors we have, we actually pair some of the body color with the inside decor where you're seeing oh, the piano nice. black. So again, there, there's something for different personalities, so not everyone has to have a loud car, but the option is there to express itself. So those options are like widely available, or you, do you know if you have to order it or like... Uh, no, they're, they're available. Yeah? Yeah, they're available. That's great. As a mainstream vehicle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we saw the prototype bolt with a white, white interior. And I guess that's like, like a prototype car. I you mean, mean the I, concept car? Yeah. The bolt. Yeah, the bolt, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's like very wide. I mean, that's not, I mean, it looks cool for, for like a show car, but that's not very practical in day-to-day -day use, right? I think that much white could be a challenge in day-to-day -day use, but um, I, do, I do want to emphasize that the materials we use in color, in GM in general, and in Chevrolet too, um, they're tested. Yeah. So, so they're tested for cleanability, they're tested to be long-lasting, um, and they're tested to be durable. Um, and, and that means that everything we put in the car, we test for, you know, UV, we test to make sure that over time, you know, you buy the car and you might have some stitching on your seat. That stitching is not going to fade or change yeah. colors. The same with the IP, the same with dec the decor. Um, and the, you know, like the piano black you see here, or even if you get the other patterns, it doesn't matter which car you get. Um, some of the materials are, re you know, are formulated so that they have protective coatings so that day day-to-day -day wear, you know, if you have sunscreen on your hands, if you have DEET from insect repellent, and you touch these materials, because you're an active family, right? Wow, yeah. you're, you're, you know, you're protecting your kids from the elements, you're protecting your kids from the bugs, and you just might have it on your hand when you go to drive them home. You touch it, it's not going to ruin the material. It's been tested for all of that. So we keep in mind having the active family, having that lifestyle, being young at heart, again, goes back to how does a customer use the car? That's pretty amazing. To all the all the, the, the all that little that can stuff into, that you might not think. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think uh, you have one of the most important jobs because I mean, like, first impressions are the one that count the most. So, like, when you see a car and you love the color from the outside, I think people like fall in love just because of the of the color, and then you go inside and many other things when they drive it and all that. Mm -hmm. But I think the color is like so important. So, congratulations. Yeah, it needs to be eye job. catching. Thank you so much. Thank you for stopping by today and letting me, uh, you know, walk you through. Thank you very much. Thank you.